Hello friends, welcome to my channel. In today's video, I will demonstrate how to install two outlets in a two gang outlet box. I will demonstrate the connections on this dummy wall. Stay tuned and watch the video until the end to see how I complete the project. So let's get started. This is an important caution. The procedure shown in this video is for information and education purposes only. If you are not comfortable working with electrical wiring or electrical equipment, I would strongly suggest that you hire a licensed electrician. Before undertaking any kind of electrical work, always make sure that you follow your local electrical safety code. For the purpose of this demonstration, I will be using a Leviton Decora style temper resistant outlet. But you can use a traditional outlet to maintain consistency in the existing wiring or existing devices in your home. The connections will be similar. It is a temper resistant outlet that means if somebody tries to insert a metal object here it won't go in. The two whitish temper resistant flaps they open up only when they are pressed together. Take a look at this. Now the slots will open up. Leviton decor outlets are normally connected in this manner. Traditionally we keep the grounding terminal at the bottom. On the right side we have two brass screws. They are connected together with a brass strip. We connect the black hot wire on this side. We will connect only one of the terminals to the line wire. On the left side we have two silver screws and they are also connected together with a brass strip. We will connect only one of the two terminals to the neutral wire. And here we have the green grounding screw. Now in case we want to connect these two outlets to different circuits, we will simply break the brass strip here on this side as well as on this side. For this project I have prepared two black pigtails for the line connection, two white pigtails for the neutral connections and three green grounding pigtails. One for each outlet and one for the outlet box. As I mentioned earlier this is my two gang outlet box or double outlet box and this 14 2 wire is bringing the power into the box. We always start with making sure that there is no power in the wires. I will use my client tools touchless voltage tester to check to make sure that there is no power. There is no power so it is safe to proceed. Let's start with the ground wires. First I will connect the ground wire to the box. Next I will use a 5 pin Vago 11 nut connector to connect all ground pigtails. Ground to the box, ground from the incoming 14 2 wire, this ground wire for one outlet and this ground wire for the second outlet. I will push these into the box. Next I will use a 3 pin Vago 11 nut connector to connect the white neutral wires. This also inside the box. One more 3 pin Vago 11 nut connector to connect all black wires. I will push that also inside the box. Keep one black on this side and keep one black on this side. I will now make loops on these wires. The first outlet, ground wire first. White neutral. And I will tighten this extra screw as well. Black line pigtail to one of the brass screws. Tighten the extra screw. This outlet is done. I will now work on the next outlet. Second outlet, ground wire first. white neutral pigtail
and the black line pigtail to one of the brass screws. Connections are done. Let's take another look at how I have connected the wires. This 14 2 wire brings in the power to the outlet box. I prefer to use small pigtails for both the black line wire and the white neutral wire as well as for the green ground wire. Using pigtails has a definite advantage. I could have connected the black hot wire to only one of the outlets and then taken a small jumper wire from here to the next outlet. Similarly, I could have connected the white neutral wire to only one of the outlets and then use the jumper wire from here to the second outlet. That was one option. But I prefer to use pigtails. Using pigtails has a definite advantage. Each of these outlets is independently connected to the power line. But if something goes wrong with one of these outlets, the other outlet will still keep working. Using a jumper wire between these two outlets, if something goes wrong with one outlet, the other one will also not work. So it is always better to use pigtails. One more advantage of using pigtails for these connections is that if I want to extend this power line to another outlet, I can simply add another wire to these connectors. I will now push these wires into the box and tighten the screws. I will now turn on power and test each of these outlets. Power is on. I will use my client tools voltage tester to check that my connections are correct. These two orange lights indicate that the connections are correct. Check the upper one also. All good here. All good here. All good here as well. All four outlets are working. One more test with this small test lamp. Very good. Very good. This one also works. This one also works. All four outlets are working perfect. I just installed a Leviton nylon wall plate on the outlet box and it looks nice. This project is complete now. I hope the video is helpful. If you like the video, consider subscribing to my channel. There are several other similar DIY videos on my channel. Thanks for watching. I will see you next time. Until then, please take care.